Alright folks, today we are making traditional German roasted beef with onions. So stay tuned. It's time to grill. Let's get this video started with the usual chopping work. The good thing is that there is not much chopping work today for today's recipe. You only need one medium sized onion cut into half and then one bigger sized onions cut into thin rings. Of course you can use machines for cutting these thin. I don't want them too thin, just as thin as it is possible to do with your own knife. Maybe you want them thicker, but I will show you the recipe later so you can decide by yourself. Then you will need two nice looking steaks. Sometimes in German restaurants for people outside from Germany this name might be a little bit misleading because it's always called something with roast, but you will need beefsteak. We decided to go for sirloin and salted them from both sides. Then you will need a pan, hot oil and sear your steaks for approximately 4 minutes per side until they have a nice crust. Of course, as always, you will find the whole list of ingredients and measurements inside the video description. After 4 minutes, flip them and let sit in there for another 2 minutes on high heat and then reduce heat to medium heat. Then add a decent amount of butter. The pan is now still really hot. You can see the butter turns brown soon. This is a butter full of flavor. We like that. Now put some melted butter over your steaks for the next two minutes. You could also add some fresh herbs, rosemary or thyme and garlic inside that pan too. But we decided to go only with butter flavor today. The steaks should be medium to medium rare in the center later, so make sure not to cook them too long. We have preheated a grill for keeping them warm on 80 degrees Celsius, which is approximately 150 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit, and just keep them warm. Then add the medium sized onion into the pan and keep it moving so it can soak up the butter and the flavors from the pan, which is really, really good. And add red wine. Keep that cooking until the red wine is reduced about one half. You can keep going with that two or three times if you want. Otherwise the net next step should be to add a meat stock. I used a lot of beef stocks which were quite salty so I decided to go for veal stock which is better in my opinion but feel free to use your favorite stock. You could even add chicken stock for a great flavor. That reduce again until it reduced about 50% again. This is the moment where you can add salt and pepper and then we go for cream. The perfect flavor with sauces like that comes from the final adding of mustard. I really like that it gives a great flavor. You can add some strong mustard for more heat and as soon as the sauce has the right consistency, take it off. Then you will need the bigger sized onions you have cut into rings and you add all purpose flour and some barbecue rub for great flavors. Give it a good mix and put this version one into a fryer, version two just into a pan with more oil. Make sure to watch it. The Onions are good when they are golden brown. Those fried onions are truly delicious. Place on a paper towel before serving and then serve your beef with the sauce and the onions. In German we would say Zwiebelrostbraten and here is the result. It's usually served as one piece of meat but I, I was so happy with the uh, color so I decided to go for slicing them first. Delicious stuff, can't wait to hear your thoughts about that traditional German dish. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I would really appreciate that. Anyway, 
Thanks for watching. I'm out. See you.